scoop for you. I'm currently in negotiations with Cole Quinn to sign a long-term exclusive deal with BCW. In fact, I bet he'll sign on the dotted line right after this match. BCW is on its way back. I may have had to sell my parents' cemetery plots to help fund the relaunch, but I know this is going to work this time. You have my word, Mom and Dad. I got a call from Buzz the other day, and he is doing great. You hear that, Trey? I have big-time connections in WWE. That's what you're missing out on. Special shout out to all of Red and Trey's friends and family in attendance tonight. And sorry about not being able to let you in for free, but hey, I'm running a business here. for letting me run this show tonight without a down payment. <laughs> I promise, I'm good for it. One, two, three. It's me, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun, taking over on commentary for this match. Commence the flopping of uncoordinated bodies. Everyone closes their eyes and just listens to the sweet sound of my voice. I promise the misery will soon be over. They say the eyes are the windows to the soul. Well, if I were you, Close your eyes unless you want your soul crushed from watching this manure. You could say I know how head red like the back of my hand. Make sure you stick around for the gym renaming ceremony later tonight. It will help cleanse your palate of whatever this is.
What's her opponent's name? Josie? Josie! Josie! This reminds Josie. me of our high school dances. Josie. A gym full of Josie. people Josie. all staring Josie. at Red saying, Josie. What are those moves? Josie. Hey, if you want to keep running your mouth, then come over here and do it to my face. Excuse me for trying to entertain these people. Because you certainly weren't. Red Axe's so tough, but the moment you get her in a submission hold, she gives up immediately. In fact, she's been tapped more than shoulders! <laughs> It's finally over. And best of all, Red lost, just like I knew she would. Now we can move on to the real reason everyone's here. The renaming of the gym, in my honor. Being in this gym brings back so many memories. I won my first amateur match here. I broke barriers and records here as the captain of the otherwise all-male wrestling team. I qualified for states here. I dominated gym class dodgeball here. I won prom and homecoming queen here. I once saved Mr. Durkis from choking on a hot dog here. The banner actually isn't that bad. I was expecting something more obnoxious. I know, me too. So that's why it's my pleasure to officially christen this the Brooklyn Von Braun Gymnasium for Athletic Excellence. Isn't it amazing? I want to thank the school board for cutting the music program to help fund this. Totally worth it. I'm confused. Did she go to space before or after she was Pope? I think I'm going to throw up. Aim towards the mural, if you can. <laughs> oh, I can't believe we got totally upstaged and embarrassed by Brooklyn. Not much has changed. I know. We've come a long way, but it still feels like we're the same losers who used to sit at this table back in high school. At least my parents didn't show up and make a scene. Hey, I was thinking, maybe I should try to track down my real parents. They sent that letter back in high school, so maybe there's still hope with them. Uh, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about that letter. What about it? Sorry. Um, anyway. Uh, it's an Orlando number. Take it. Hello? Hi, Sarah. Yeah, it's a good time to talk. It's Sarah Amato from NXT. Oh. I got your number from x -Pog. He saw you on a show in L.A. a couple years ago and said you were great. Oh, yeah, that was the same night he put my friend in a diaper. <laughs> what? Never mind. Had to be there. Anyways, the reason I'm calling is to see if you'd like to compete in the third annual May Young Classic. What? Hello, are you there? Hello? Um, I'm here, and I'm in for the May Young Classic. Yes. <laughs> Great, we'll be in touch soon with travel arrangements, and congratulations. Being included in this tournament is a huge accomplishment. Thank you. <laughs> we'll talk soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, <laughs> are you serious? Maybe this night wasn't so bad after I all. I know! After I missed out on the first May Young Classic and then didn't hear anything last year, I thought I'd never get another shot, but it's happening, <laughs> and I'm not going to settle for just being included. I'm going to win the whole damn thing. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> we should celebrate. By throwing rocks at Brooklyn's stupid face. That might be a bit extreme. I mean, what size rocks are we talking? I meant her face on the sign coming into town. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that seems slightly more reasonable. Hey, hey, what did you want to tell me about the letter? Oh, um, never mind. It's not important. Besides, there's a sign that needs vandalizing, remember? True. I'll go round up some good throwing rocks. That's a great idea. I'll meet you at the car in a minute. Cool. Whoa, that's a shock. He's always wanted to meet his birth parents, and now that we know what happened... What are we going to say when he asks about them? I, I really don't think he can handle the, the truth that they're dead. Do you? No. No, it would crush him. But what's the alternative, honey? Just let him believe they're still out there somewhere and they don't care enough to ever contact him? I, I, I don't know. I, I wish there was a way to keep his hope alive, but 
not hurt him. <sighs> Me too. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did. But we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams, no matter what they might be. To become anything you want. We'll find you someday. Love always, Mom and Dad. Please, don't tell him our secret about the letter. It's not going to help anything. Hey, you coming or what? Yeah, sorry. Let's do this.